Hi, this is Josh Clark with this week's episode of Be Your Best. Are you ready to live your best year ever? I hope you said yes, because today we're looking at the third step in a series called Seven Steps to Your Best Year Ever. Now, you may recall the first step was believe. In order to succeed, we first must believe that that is possible. And then the second step is letting go. Letting go of past failures, letting go of past regrets, and realizing that yesterday really ended last night, and today is a brand new day full of endless possibilities, um, if only we believe, which leads us to the third step, and that is that is gratitude. In order to live our best year ever, we need, we need to learn to exercise the law of gratitude. And I call it the law of gratitude because just like gravity works every time, so does the law of gratitude. It's either at work for you or against you. And so, you know, do you want to enjoy a life, live a life that's of happiness and fulfillment? Of course, right? Well, psychologists have scientifically proven that the greatest contributing factor towards overall happiness and fulfillment in your life is gratitude and how well you show gratitude. Um, you know, and, and here's the thing is, the law of gratitude not only makes you happy, but it also gives you energy. It gives you enthusiasm, which are two very important keys toward success, toward living your best life ever. They also bring physical health. You know, I remember my mother used to always sing um, it, Proverbs 17, 22, a cheerful heart is good medicine, good medicine, but a dry spirit, a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Now, I know I'm not a great singer, but maybe you got the point. You know, it affects everything around us. Just last night, I was reading a story in Success Magazine by us. Uh, it was an interview with Sarah Blakely, uh, who is the youngest self-made billionaire on the Forbes list, and she happens to be from my um, childhood hometown, Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, she shared that there were two keys to her success, and one was gratitude, and the other was a higher purpose. It was interesting. She shared a story, and she said that growing up, her dad around the dinner table would ask his kids. He'd say, hey, what is something you failed at this past, year, this past week? And he'd high five them. And uh, at times he'd also go a step further and do an exercise where he'd have them write down something that they got out of that failure, something that, you know, something positive that they were able to take away from that. And so that they could, you know, live in that spirit of gratitude and attract success, attract happiness to them. Now, I want to share with you that as you pursue excellence, as you pursue being your very best, inevitably there will always be a gap between where you are and the ideal that which you're pursuing after. Now, you can get stuck in this gap or you can look backwards and exercise a spirit of gratitude and look at the things you've overcome and how far you've come along the journey. And as you do this, you'll realize that, hey, if I, if I made it through that, then I can do it again today. And that attitude of gratitude will take you to your best year ever. Now, you know, I want to share with you that my, my desire for you is that you live an abundant life, a life full of purpose, happiness, inspiration. You know, I believe the challenges you've survived have prepared you to use your unique gifts, talents, and abilities to change the world. In fact, I believe that these unique gifts and talents are talents that, gifts that only you possess. And you, I believe your destiny is to use them to go out there and change and shape the world, to be a catalyst, to make a difference and impact around all those around you. So here's my challenge as you leave. I want you to name one person who has impacted your life. And I, I, ideally, I'd like you to write down a sentence or a paragraph and then call them and say, hey, I've been challenged to share this with you. And you'll be amazed at the, at the gratitude and the energy and enthusiasm you have the rest of the day and going forward. Also, whenever you're together with your family, Here's a second challenge. I want you to play the, the gratitude game. And that is have everybody name one thing they're thankful for that day. Maybe a challenge they overcame, whatever it is, you get it. And the third is the, uh, the, the three blessings exercise. When you lay your head on the pillow at night, I want you to name three blessings. And ideally, write them down in a journal. You could write them down in your phone. But name those three blessings that you're thankful for that day. And I'll tell you what, if you do that for 21 days, it'll change your life. Set an alarm right now on your phone to remind you, you know, every night as you're going to bed to do that, and you'll be amazed. And not only will it change your life, but it's going to change the life of all of those around you. You'll be a catalyst to change the world. And so if this video has encouraged you, please go out there and share it with others. And together, we can be a catalyst to change the the world one person at a time and I can't wait to see you next week as we examine the fourth step to your best year ever. All right, have an awesome week and God bless.